You're one hell of a journalist, aren't you, Frank? A hot-headed, underhanded, hotshot paparazzi with nothing better to do than to invade people's privacy. Yeah, Samuel L. Jackson doesn't like I paparazzi. Try. You got a point? You win, Frank. Let's work together. <laughs> He's still I being a douche. DHS agents. And yes, we are looking for the man in that picture. <laughs> You're with Homeland Security. Is that guy a terrorist or something? A typical conclusion. I took that picture in the entrance plaza. Right near the front door. The entrance plaza. You're sure? Hey! So do I have your permission to cover this story? Or not? <sighs> Still worried about his fucking sword. There are more important things happening, Frank. Like, I don't know, the zombie apocalypse. So yeah, we have to go with Brad now to, um... to find Dr. Barnaby and... A lot of people seem to think you have to wait for him like you do the survivors, but if you know where he's heading, then you can just go on off without him. Because, you know, Frank's a prick. Okay, we're in Alfresca Plaza now, which is outdoors, which if you're going for the indoorsman or outdoorsman achievement, do note that Alfresca Plaza does have a roof, and therefore doesn't have a roof, sorry, doesn't have a roof, and therefore counts as outdoors, so that will screw up your endorsement achievement. Oh yeah, and before I forget, this, uh, this water feature here should have a submachine gun in it. I've already skipped past two, there was one in Paradise Plaza where I started, um, literally up above the door to the warehouse. And then there was another one in the food court above Chris's fine foods. This is a pointless cutscene, all you do is lift the shutters up. Sir, if you could just kindly come with us, we can wrap this whole thing up. No, I'm not leaving! Until See, it's the crazy old guy from earlier. That's Dr. Barnaby. You're allowed to know who he is now, so it's cool. Thank you very much, I'm going to stay right Do here. Dr. Barnaby, safe. sir. Thank you, and goodbye. Dr. Dr. Barnaby? Goodbye! Well, what happened? You can't just arrest him? He turned down my offer to protect him. Said he isn't going anywhere until I can guarantee a secure route out of here. Jesse has a direct line to HQ. The first thing we need to do is to call for backup. Now a lot of people head uh, straight back with him and get case 1-4 out of the way, but there is... Your first proper survivor in the entrance plaza. Goes by the name of Bill. I don't think you can get a call for Bill from Otis to let you know he's there. I think this is one you have to find on your own, which is a bit of a pain because... Well, why would you think to look in here, really? But yeah, there he is. Double Larry at the boxes out of the way. Oh, there we go. Oh great, he's sucking the air. This is this is gonna be fun. Nope, that didn't get him down. I'm gonna have to go up to his level to talk to him, aren't I? I'll get you back. Oh, and he's fallen. That's That's fantastic. 
said this game was very, very well made. <laughs> Come on, let me let me talk to him. Get up here again. Here we go. Damn it! But um, basically, this guy's just letting us know that he's been trapped in that storeroom for the last two days because the boxes fell down on him. Uh, so this poor bastard doesn't know anything about the, obviously the zombies or anything. Uh, so he's gone off running out thinking he's heading home. Ah great, my call from Otis got interrupted by uh, Bill talking. That might ruin my transmission rate. Which I still don't have. I've got most of the achievements in this game but transmission rate still evades me every time. Come on, Bill, stop punching the guy and finish talking to me. Oh, great, now Otis is calling again. Don't cut me off like that, it's rude. Oh, for f It also cuts you off if a zombie grabs you. This is why transmission re is so annoying. Because you have to stop dead, find somewhere where you're not going to get touched by any zombies, answer the call, and you can't do anything while you're answering the call, so I can't even open that door to that shop that I want to go in and grab a sword. Really hope they fix that in Dead Rising 2, because it's a pain in the ass. And like I said, I don't even know if the fact that I got cut off earlier will stop me from getting transmission right now, so... Let's just grab a shitload of swords. Come on! There's a lot of debate as to whether you should give uh, your survivors guns or swords, and personally I like to give them swords and battle axes, uh, because I find when I give them shotguns they end up shooting me. At least I know with a sword they're not gonna hit me as long as I'm, you know, at least five feet away. Over there! Just setting a waypoint for them at the top of the stairs in case... No, there's no zombies down here. But one time I'm cautious. Over there! Okay, just pick up the parasol here. There's a rather fun achievement you can get um, if you haven't got it already. Where you just run at the zombies with the parasol and if you can knock down 30 of them, you'll pop an achievement. So you just literally run around like that and knock them all down. Um, so it's one I've already got so I can't be asked to do it again. It's a good way to get through Alfresca Plaza though. Because that one's usually packed with zombies and there's parasols at this end and you can just charge on through. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna do that this time because that's too easy. Well maybe I'm just an idiot, I don't know. Yeah, I really should have grabbed the parasol. Would have made this a lot less painful. I find it funny that we've already killed nearly 400 zombies, and most of that was from the maintenance tunnels just getting that damn key. Set a waypoint to the door for your survivors, and then you can go back and just kill every zombie that would likely be in their path. Um, and just give them like a straight shot. I find it easier than kind of like babysitting them through. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but... One thing that is annoying is that if you don't give a survivor a weapon, they'll just run straight through all the zombies. If you do give them a weapon, um, they seem to think they need to kill everything within a 10 mile radius. Which is really annoying because then they're death for ages just killing things when they can make a straight shot for it. But then if you don't give them anything, they die really quickly because they can't defend themselves. It's just Otis telling me I'm in the food court. Which kind of could have figured out on my own. Oh, those plates on the wall, by the way. If you shoot all of those, you get a giant experience bonus. Drink some wine, get some health back, grab another one in case. Um, right, now, I can't remember if I'm meant to stay here and wait for the barricade pair and a woman who had a baby and to get calls for those. Or whether I'm supposed to go do Kent's photography bit first. 
and then take Bill back to the security room and then come back here for the barricade pair. I can't remember if I have enough time to do that. Um, right, let's look. Right. Time's running out on cut from the same cloth, which is Kent's one. Yeah, we'll go do Kent's first, I think. And then once I've done the photography for Kent, I'll drop Bill off because he's a slow bastard. I mean, he's really fucking slow. Um, takes some ages to catch up with you. 